afraid there's a lot of options for the player in terms of upgrading your character. Trendstar, the company that is behind Telus One, created this object called a Neuromod. The Neuromod is this device that basically allows people to acquire skills and abilities that they didn't have before. Unfortunately, you have to you know, jab this needle into your eye so that it can change your brain. Some of those options are just things that people can already normally do, but you can do them way, way better. You know, the ability to use firearms better, or to run faster, jump higher, being able to repair things or hack computers. My favorite human power is the repair tree. You can use it to repair equipment that's broken in the station. You can use it to upgrade into other things like upgrading the weapons more. There are turrets on the station that you can take advantage of. So that's a cool indirect way to play is to sort of be the turret lord. Everywhere you go in the space station, make turrets, fix turrets, set turrets up, and just let the station's defenses work for you. I enjoy hacking because that is just the type of gamer I am. I cannot resist a locked box or a locked doorway. I'm compelled to find out what's inside. I really like to use something called combat focus. It's a power that makes you think faster. The world is a little slower. It allows you for being faster in combat, basically, and therefore more lethal. When you get the psychoscope, which is the tool that actually allows you to scan. And when you discover a new Typhon that you haven't seen before, you can scan that alien. You can now acquire the abilities that they have. So if you see an alien using its mind to like ignite fires, once you scan that alien, you can do the same thing. When you first start the game and the only abilities that are available to you are the human abilities. If you want, the player can only take human abilities because there is a trade-off for taking alien abilities. One of the trade-offs is that after a certain amount of powers that you learn from the aliens, the turrets will start to recognize you as an alien, so they will start to shoot you. However, it is probably worth the trade-off because the alien's powers are pretty cool. Kinetic Blast is one of the first Titan powers that you'll encounter. It's a way that you project an explosion into the world. It's like a psychic grenade. Mimic is a really fun power. Of course, it comes from the namesake creature, the Mimics themselves. You learn it after you scan a couple of them. Mimic Matter is a really versatile tool that players can use to dupe their enemies, avoid hazards, or negotiate environmental obstacles. Super Thermal is essentially a firebomb. It can be deployed as a trap. You can place a Super Thermal where there isn't an enemy, and then you can lure an enemy over to it, and it will explode and detonate in a huge pillar of fire. Lift field, you can use it as a traversal tool, of course, to get to higher places. It's also a trap. You can lay one down and it'll suck up any aliens that are close by. Remote manipulation is a tool for telekinesis. It's essentially a way of reaching out and touching things far away. You can pick up physics objects that are far away. You can even repair and hack things that are far away. Phantom Shift is a really useful escape tool. You can use it to move quickly in any direction, and from where you started the power, you leave a doppelganger behind, so enemies will be fooled into attacking your doppelganger while you're somewhere else. So Mind Jack allows you to control an enemy to work with you, and that's a power that comes from the telepath, because the telepath do that on some of the employees of the station. It's mostly a mind control. Psychoshock is like a direct mind blast to an enemy. You are projecting so much psychic force and interference into their brain that you do massive damage to the enemy and you nullify their ability to use their own psychic powers. What is really important at Arcane is to give players the choice of how they play. No two players will have the same experience. <laughs>